More than 250 primary school pupils from Lancashire, Kenya and Zambia joined UCLan students in an eight-month project to create Letters to Africa, a children's book that features letters exchanged between the children themselves. It really came about last year when I visited Africa. I actually realised just how short of educational resources they were, and yet they were doing an amazing job. They were teaching in shacks with no glass windows and um, no pens. They were running between classrooms, actually sharing chalk. And we were looking to publish books in our own first publishing house here called Uclan Publishing, which we've just set up. And I thought, wouldn't it be great to publish a book to actually help those people out in Kenya. Then more and more people came on board, so we have photography people doing photographs, we've got linguistics people for the very first time actually studying the Maa language and putting it down in the book. We've got letters between UK school children and African school children. So it actually gives you a real overview of what actually it's like to be in Africa. We from Africa, which is an experience most children don't get, and I also have won the competition, which also has let me be a zookeeper for a day. I just put in all the effort I could towards this charity, because I thought it was such a great cause. Yeah, I'd love to go to Africa. It'd just be, well, amazing. I think it's a cultural learning experience, because they might have preconceptions of school children in Africa and I think that this would have changed them because they're so similar and obviously there are differences as well but I think they're differences that they could both relate to. We've had photographers, linguists, um, illustrators, children, lots and lots of different people involved so I think the greatest skill we've learned is actually time management and bringing all of these different people together to create one great final product. The